Hello, my name is Danny Nolan and I'm the Director of Chassis Sim Technologies. And ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to announce that the Chassis Sim Online Race Engineering Competition is back for 2021. After a lot of popular requests after our first online race engineering competition that we ran in 2020, um, we had a lot of requests to bring it back and we've just obliged. And as you can tell, ladies and gentlemen, this year of 2021, we're doing something slightly different. So rather than doing a P2 car at Le Mans, what we're doing is we're going to be doing a GT free race car at Bathurst, in particular, a mid-engined race engineering GT free car at Bathurst. And really, this is to, to honour what a great event the Bathurst 12 hour um, is. And unfortunately, with the Australian border remaining sealed shut um, thanks to COVID, Unfortunately, it isn't going to be run anytime soon. So it's a great way of honouring what is a great event. And like with last year, it is an online race engineering competition. Now, as per last year, this is what's going to happen. You're going to be given a Chassis Sim Online license, in particular version 3.40 Professional Online. We're going to give you a car model and a circuit model, and you're going to be given 100 simulations to play with. Now, a few disclaimers about what you're going to be given. You're going to be given a model of Bathurst. However, if you go through and dig through that, uh, that, that circuit model, you're going to find that while it's representative, it's not an exact replica of Bathurst. And the reason we've had to do that, purely because of co uh, customer confidentiality, ditto with our um, uh, the GT3 car model you're going to be given, it pretty much is a um, derivative of our LP560 GT3 template. So that's pretty much going to be um, your start point because, and the reason we've had to do that is to keep this all above board, to keep it kosher, to make sure our customers are protected. So moving on, the rules. Like with last year, tires, engine, and aero um, pitch, sensitivity, pitch sensitivity maps are all fixed. Also to masses, track, CG, heights, and inertias are fixed as well. Well, now, just on that, and the reason we do that as per last year is just to make sure the competition doesn't go silly so you don't have car files being submitted with a weight of 10 kilos. Now, uh, there are some specific rules to um, this year's competition, and that, and, I'll, uh, and that will be provided in the Word document that will be given to you. But bottom line, the big highlight package is that your minimum dynamic ride height is going to be 20 millimeters front and rear. Now that signal will be filtered at 10 hertz. And I just want to clarify that because there was a bit of confusion about that last year. And also too, in, in, in sticking with the spirit of the GT3 rules, um, your minimum static ride height is going to be 70 millimeters. So that makes sure, and that just sort of reflects the ruling that um, you can't go um, below a certain static ride height for a GT3 car. Now, the LSD and lock diff are permitted, and it's rear-wheel drive only. Also, to no super diff. Also, to no personal hybrid. And that's just to keep things um, a little bit silly. But apart from that, guys, go completely crazy. However, you're on your own. And I want to make this point very, very clear. While we will help you with the mechanics of driving chassis sim, when it comes to what settings to put into the car, you're on your own. This is uh, 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 the whole idea of this is for you to really think very carefully about it. And again, this is why we've gone to the 100 simulation limit, so that when you go through and you run a simulation, you're actually thinking very carefully about what you're doing. Okay, your assessment. Number one, you submit a car file. And that, go that is going to be run on both the lap time simulation and the driver in the loop. So the assessment is going to be the following. It's going to be a composite 50-50 of both. It's going to be how you do with the lap time simulation, how it does with driver in the loop. We basically um, are going to sum the placings and uh, the competitors with the lowest score will determine your final rank. So in this case, you've got competitor one, two, and three. They scored one, two, three in lap time simulation, one, two, three in driver in the loop. The result was two, four, six, so that obviously competitor one comes first, competitor two comes second, competitor three comes third. But bottom line, and I cannot stress this enough, ladies and gentlemen, you are going to be assessed on a card that is both fast and is drivable. So I'll give you all a little bit of a hint right now. Pay very close attention to what your stability index channel is um, doing. Okay, time is and prize money. The competition registrations open today, July 22. 
The model submission is October 1, 2021, and the winners are going to be announced October 22, 20, uh, uh, 2021. However, this year we're taking a bit of a different approach with prize money. Where with last year, we were very generous in terms of what we were offering in terms of prize money. One of the things that we uh, found last year is we had a lot of people who were really enthusiastic and used Chess Sim quite a bit. Then afterwards, it was like, poof, that was it. They were done. They went off on their merry way. What we want to do last year with our prize, the way we're doing our um, prizes this year, is we're doing both cash and online sims. And that is that if you score in the top three, we want you to carry on using chassis sim, whether it's for your personal use or whether it's for your professional use. So consequently, here's the prize money. P1 is USD $500, plus you're going to get 200 online simulations. P2 is USD $375, and you get 100 online simulations. And P3, USD $250, and you're going to um, get some... Um, 50 online simulations as well. And also, too, I'm going to throw, throw you guys a little bit of a bone there. If you come in the top 10, you're going to get 25 extra online simulations you can play with as well. Now, when you register for this, the registration fee is $50. Um, and what's going to happen is that um, you'll get an email from us with your download instructions for Chassis and Professional Online. And we'll also register you, register you for the online simulation. But you'll also get a link to the following zip file. So stand, uh, uh, so stand, uh, uh, so stand by. So you'll be getting a link to this zip file, which is Chassim Race Engineering Competition 2021 Outline.zip. So what I'll get you to do is we'll get you to cut it from that location. Now, go in and create a folder called Models. Now, so this is in C, Shasim Technologies, your Shasim install directory. In here, create a folder called GT3 and go to paste. And what we'll get you to do is we'll get you to unextract, uh, uh, we'll get you to unextract um, uh, that um, uh, zip file and go through and grab all those contents We'll cut from that location and we'll put it in the GT3 folder and we'll go paste. Now, so what we'll do is we'll get rid of that and we will get rid of that. Now, so what you've got in terms of what that zip file contains is it contains the car model, it contains a circuit model, and uh, so you've got both car and circuit model. Now, in here, the Word document, you'll find your rules and uh, you'll, find, uh, you'll find the more specific rules to the competition. Also, too, in here, you're also going to have an Excel file with your GT3 allowed settings. So that goes through your allowed gear ratio. So you're just basically going to get one gear set. And um, your allowed aero settings. I cannot stress enough, you must stick to the aero settings in here. So in order to run, the, uh, in order to, uh, run this up, you, um, uh, uh, in order to uh, run this up, you fire up Chassis in Professional Online. And just because obviously this is a GT3 competition, I'm going to select something that's more appropriate to a GT3 car. So what we do is that we uh, uh, is that we open this all up and we go into our C drive, Chess and Technologies, Chess is uh, um, uh, your models directory, GT3, and you enter in your GT3 based competition car file. We go into our circuit menu, circuit data, and we go into your curvature file, select your curvature file. For your bump profile, we go to file star.dat, and we select your bump profile, and you get your altitude road camber file. And make sure you click on use altitude road camber file. So when this is loaded up, it needs to look like this. and for your altitude road camper file. So that basically makes sure that you've got everything that's opened up because obviously Bathurst, in addition to being bumpy, um, it is also, there's some um, quite a bit of altitude and camber variation as well. So you are going to need all of those three files loaded. So when you do that, you click on okay, and then obviously you set up 
your data logging to whatever um, data analysis tool that you would like to use. And then you click on the start button, go to start simulation. And now this will go through and this will run the simulation. So now what we'll let you to do, it's now over, uh, now it's over to you guys. So uh, it's now over to you guys. Best of luck, have fun, learn something, and we look forward to your competition, uh, we look forward to your competition entries.